Hi, it's Rachel, and I'm diving into this whole transformation that's taking place, okay? It is first happening among those who have just come to this point with God in their life, okay? Along the journey and path of seeking is that you're going through a great transition and transformation. And it's beautiful, but it's different and it's new because it's just as different as a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. That's what's happening, okay? There are people that are becoming living creations. Remember the living creatures around the throne of God? They had wings. The cherubim had wings, okay? Because when you become driven by God's Spirit, that's what, it, that's what the wings represent that you're fully driven by God's Spirit. Okay, so you have to stop being a creature of the earth, of the dust, treading and walking on the dust. Okay, because as long as you're treading the soil, as long as you're treading all this corruption, you can't, it's corruption. I don't care how much you try to clean it up, make it look good, whatever it is, it's corruption. And that's what I've been talking about with my personality, and that's what you can see. As much as you try to walk by the promptings of God, um, desire His ways, all of these things, you run into a huge roadblock. And that roadblock is you, it's your personality, that from the moment that you were created, it started to be born out of corruption. Okay, And it was very corruptible by all these outside things and that's what corrupted it was all these outside things coming at and that's why it's all this disharmony it's all these lies and everybody is and causing harm and affliction and tearing at each other's realities because none of their their personalities are in harmony okay so you have to come to a point like the rich man when Jesus said you have to go sell all what he was talking about was your entire personality okay so that you become like Christ where all you reflect is the father that's all he reflected okay and what you saw was a great compassion a beautiful love a great forgiveness a healing for mankind you saw a very beautiful spirit and you saw that through his personality, how he responded to people, how he treated women, how he responded to them, how he was with his disciples, how he walked, how he poured out his life. Okay, all these words that he spoke that were full of life. Okay, he was reflecting God, the Father. And this is what we're going to do. It's like he was a butterfly. Okay, that came into a world of caterpillars and was showing, hey, you too can be a butterfly. That's what he was showing us. The kingdom is at hand. The kingdom comes from within you. It's a whole transformation starting with your heart. Okay, and then when you come to the part where your heart desires to love everyone perfectly, okay, when that becomes that snows when you're that you know at that point you are getting a new heart because you are your desires all that you are is coming from a completely different place than it used to it's coming from a place of life a place of love because what you've done is you've given up your earthly parents okay and this is symbolically and you've taken on new parents and new parents but it's actually I mean it's also physically okay and your new parents it's the mother and the father it's the Godhead it's at a very basic summation it is love and it is wisdom okay those are your new parents that means your personality now is being crafted out of love and wisdom that's what's creating it that's why you come into the Order of Melchizedek. Well, that's why you come into a perfect generation. That's why you come into a generation that's a generation that's pure because your parents are pure. You have severed from the parents of the flesh because it's the flesh parents, right? Your physical parents and this world that has crafted a corrupted personality. 
okay? And as long as you hold on to that, you can't ascend in your spirit. You can't transform. You've got to be willing to let all of your personality go and let God totally recreate every part of you. You have to be willing to sell all and then buy and sell with Christ. So that means that you are going through an inner working because that's where Christ's spirit dwells within you. He comes as that internal teacher. That's what his role is, recreating you. Okay, and it starts with your heart. Okay, but again, once your heart starts to transform, then you come into this problem and that's what you see because you want to love perfectly and oops, you can't because your very personality keeps that from happening. Because of my personality crafted in corruption, no matter how much I desire to be different, at any one moment I have the potential, the propensity to harm someone unconsciously, unintentionally, unknowingly, okay? And for someone that loves, wants to love perfectly, for a heart that wants to love perfectly, that's tormenting, okay? And that's a big problem. But that's a beautiful place to come to in your life that often comes with much tears because you are broken because you see how broken you are, all right? But that is the very thing that you have to offer up to God and sell. And you know what, when you sell and buy with Christ, okay, he counsels you in Revelation 3 to buy and sell from him the gold refined in fire, okay? And that gold is his reflection. It is having an exterior, the way you express yourself, reflecting him, which is that heart that you feel that desires to love perfectly. You want to love everyone perfectly, and that's the overlay of gold, okay? And these are also the overlay of the cherubim, okay? The cherubim, the winged creatures covering the mercy seat, that's where God spoke to him. I spoke to you between in the midst of the cherubim, okay? Winged creatures crafted out of olive wood, Okay, that should bring to mind like the olive oil, the oil that fills your lamps. Okay, that is a work of your heart. Okay, we are the epistle. We are the book, the wood, the paper that God is writing his truths upon. Okay, but you can have those truths. You can have all of that in you. But your expression through what they come through, that personality your habits, your ways, the networks in your brain of automatic responses, it's all corrupted. So it's like it's trying to get out, but it hits that. And that's what you face. And it's a very humbling experience. But then what God does, it's like you offer it up to him because you realize that's what he came to consume. And what he gives you when you sell all, okay, because your personality is everything of you, every part of you, okay? When you can see that and you sell that all to him and what you buy from Christ is that gold, okay? It is that gold that is a, has the ability to reflect that countenance, that perfect spirit of God, but it's reflecting from within you, okay? That's where he comes. So that's why it's so significant when you feel that heart. Because, and that's why Jesus says, when you're learning um, the parable of the fig tree, he says, know that the end is at the doors. Okay? When you see in your heart a new Heart, which means out of it is flowing you have a, as again a new desire in every situation every relationship to love perfectly okay it starts pressing on you this on your personality which has been the tomb 
okay? It's like that butterfly in the cocoon. It starts pressing on that cocoon and that's when it starts to split open, okay? And when it starts to split open, what was inside starts to come out. So that's that heart starts growing and intensifying in you and what you come against is that personality and what happens is that personality starts to burn away, okay? That is those filthy garments coming off because you already have the new garments that have been being formed from within. See, the old garments, they're all personality. It came from stuff on the outside, okay? All that corruption, that's why there's all this disharmony. The new garments are formed from within and they're put on you from within, from the new heart that you have. That creates the new garments that you wear. So it's a pushing out and it's a reshaping of your personality so that now you're reflecting your personality. Those is reflecting the spirit of God. Okay. And when he starts filling your personality, that's when you are starting to fly because he is directing every expression of you in the world. And the only thing that is governing you is no longer your will or your ability to walk around like a caterpillar. Okay, you don't even have those legs anymore. That you don't have that will. It is because you have totally given it all over to God. And this is the point that he wants to come to because love desires love. He wants to be invited. He, does, he wants to be desired by you because that is the freedom of the love and the beauty of the love that he wants to give you. Okay. Forced love is, it brings on all the wrong emotions. Okay. It's this love that is you desire it. Okay. Just like you desire to marry the person when you're getting married, you desire to be one with him. And that's what it means that he takes over you, but that's how he takes over you. That's his breath of life coming in and his spirit is that he's taking you now and carrying you. So you are just like a butterfly. You land somewhere, wherever he lands you. And the only time you move is when you're carried by the wind, when you're carried by the spirit. That means every time you act, every time you speak, everything that you do is the spirit, the spirit carrying you. It's the Spirit doing those things. It's God doing all of those things through you, okay? And it's nothing of yourself because you have totally, that personality has been offered up. And in my next video, I'll dive into a little bit more of that inner working of your heart.